Have you ever run into a hobosexual? Do you have a hobosexual living in your house right now? Have you dated a hobosexual? Eh, what even is a hobosexual? Let's talk about it. Okay, hobosexuals, I wish I could take uh, full credit for the term, but I can't. It was actually a young lady that was on Ready to Love that actually brought it up for the first time. And I actually love this concept. But really, what a hobosexual is, for the most part, is a man that is walking in his feminine energy. So what does this look like? How does this work in the real world? Well, men who walk in their feminine will start to act like a traditional woman. Now, we're going to say traditional here. We're not talking about the modern day woman. We're talking about traditional. So these men are looking for women to take care of them. They're looking to be more insular. They want to be in the house. They don't want to be out in the world. Um, they, will, they will lean more towards entertainment. They will try to cook and clean. They will do things that are normally from a societal perspective done by women. So that is how, you know, the hobo sexual works. The concept of being a hobo is just is, is a man who has no home. He has no place to go. And the reason why men who walk in their feminine have no place to go is because they generally get kicked out from woman to woman to woman. Because women, even if women are walking in their masculine energy instead of being in their feminine energy, even masculine women understand that there's something wrong with a man who just sits around all day. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel normal. They're looking for that man that has a little bit more of a go-getter attitude because honestly, that's what they're attracted to. See, at first you might just be attracted to the man and you say, oh, okay, he's a good looking man. And you say, okay, I want to talk to him. But as soon as he starts moving and grooving, you're not attracted to his energy. And it's the energy ultimately that's going to keep you attracted. It's not just the fact that he's a decent looking man. See, men who even do a simple thing as procuring <laughs> a place to live and not just a place to live, a, a place to live where they can lock the door, where nobody can come in legally while they're in there. Like if somebody lives in an apartment, technically the apartment management might walk in, but they have to knock on the door before they walk in. The man has leased that area. That area right now is his. If he owns a house, that area is his. Even if he is in a rooming house, he has a room. He has a room and he has lockable ability. But if he lives with his mom, he doesn't have lockable ability. His mom can just walk in and out on him at any time. If he's living with you, he doesn't have lockable ability. You can walk in on him at any time. That, in its essence, is why he's a hobo. He's a hobo because he doesn't have the ability to lock a door. He doesn't have security. And how can a man provide security for you when he can't even provide security for himself? And that a man who is walking in his feminine already is a problem. This is not something that, like I say, most modern women will actually even find attractive. So when women are walking in their masculine, one of the things that happens for many of them is that they become attracted to feminine men. Why is this happening? It happens because there's a balance. We look for the person that balances us. We look for the person that basically evens us out. So if someone is a go-getter like many of the women watching may be and they're go 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 what they're looking for is a man that brings them peace he brings them calm he gets them away from that that rush see that's how that works it's just like it's like magnets okay opposites attract and all the other kind of good fun stuff so that's one of the first key elements for a lot of women to understand why they should not be walking in their masculine. But right now, let's focus and make sure that we truly understand what happens when men walk in their feminine. Even though they look like men, they many times will act like traditional women. You may call them a mama's boy. You may call them a hobosexual. You may call them a loser, a weakling. Whatever it is that you're calling them, it doesn't matter. At the core, these are men that are walking in their feminine energy because maybe they weren't told or taught 
how to walk in their masculine or maybe they just don't care. Either way, I don't encourage you to talk to them. I don't encourage you to date them. And in fact, most of the problems that modern women face are dealing with feminine energy men. Anyway, please like and subscribe. We're going to talk a lot more about this in the next video. See you soon.